Hello world, uh, I'm Roman Loyola from Macworld. Today we're going to hopefully be unboxing the new MacBook Pro, which was announced yesterday. Um, according to FedEx, it's on a truck. Uh, I can't see out my window to see if the truck is pulling up, so there's no dramatic video. Well, what's that behind you? Is that it? So, no, this is not it. So this, this is actually last year's model. Um, I think this is the 2.8 gigahertz version, but um, it should look the same. So, uh, so yeah, so we have this version. We also, so I have two models from last year, this one, and there's one over here that's closed. Uh, one's a 2.8, one's a 2.9 uh, gigahertz machine. So I got two from last year. So when we get the new one in, I will be running benchmarks over the weekend and comparing it probably to these, to whatever uh, MacBook Pros we have. We're providing those benchmarks. Uh, while we're waiting for the truck to show up, I'll take a tour of my desk. <laughs> so, uh, we wait a minute. The truck is here. <laughs> it's not a truck, but I think this is your package. All right, Luis. All right. Yeah, Luis, Luis is the man is the of the man. hour. He's already here. Thank you, Luis. All right. Boom. See you guys. Thanks, Luis. So we have nice. the new Mac, but Pro. Look at. Are you sure? Are you sure this isn't? That's true. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the new. Could be your Amazon delivery so, of batteries. That's true. It, this could be my uh, my uh, vegetable <laughs> delivery. From my are, my Whole Foods live. Prime we are delivery. Live, so we are taking questions and comments from YouTube. Oh, that's right. So if you guys have any comments or questions while we're doing this, let me know. We could talk about the MacBook Pro. We were recently, just before we went live, we were talking about men's grooming products. <laughs> so if you have any comments or questions, let, well, here with Leif Johnson. Uh, I also have last year's 15 yeah, last, year's, well, last, yeah, year's last year's boring. Last year's boring. And he has a much cleaner desk than I do, obviously. <laughs> so. Nice. Uh, do, you, uh, do you need a knife? There you go. I actually have a razor cutter. So if you don't want gooey oh. stuff on your. Um, right. So and should Mustang we do this? Is asking how much is the one that you have? So this is supposed to be the 2.9 gigahertz um, model, which I believe is the is the top end model, and uh, I think I think it's a three thousand dollar machine. But let me let me check real quick. Um, and Jackie on on uh, Twitter is asking. Uh, she is new to the MacBook Pro. Can you explain like exactly where the MacBook Pro fits into like the whole lineup? Sure. So okay, so this is a three thousand dollar machine. It's three three thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Actually, it might be more than that because I don't know what the RAM configuration is on this. So uh, this particular model is supposed to be a two point nine gigahertz, uh, six core, Core i nine processor. This is actually a custom to build a BTO model. It's not one of the standard configuration models. So what you have to do is if you want this particular model, you, you pick the highest end model that has a 2.6 gigahertz processor. And then you select, you customize your order with this, with this particular one, if you want the 2.9 gigahertz uh, machine. Nice. So, uh, so this is a BTO, what they call a BTO uh, machine. A build-to-order machine. It's not. It's not one of the custom configurations. Nice. Um, so it's a pricey machine. Um, second question was where this fits in terms of the lineup. So there are three lines of uh, Apple laptops. The sort of affordable line is called the MacBook Air. There's only one model. It's um, which is super old. It's an it's an old model. This is, yeah, I have a 13 inch MacBook here right here. Um, it's an it's I forgot how much this one is. Is this eleven ninety nine? It it's the, the low even people consider it the affordable one lightly, but uh, You're right. It, yeah, it's like sub I think it's like nine ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Yeah. That's where it starts. But you're like don't get enough RAM and stuff. Then the so that's the low end model. Uh, it's not the most powerful machine, but it's, I can't even say it's the lightest machine anymore because the MacBook, as Leif hands me, is actually the smallest, lightest machine. This machine, um, 
I believe starts at eleven ninety nine. It's not under a thousand dollars. So what's lighter than air? If the other one's air because it's so light, what's lighter than air? What's lighter? That's a good question. Well, is, is, that a, is that a, a, a <laughs> question? Atomic, <laughs> yes, at a subatomic level. Uh, if anybody can tell us what's lighter than air. Also, yeah, you got a. That's a different design right there. For sure. Yeah. So this is the MacBook. This falls between. This falls between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Uh, it's a. It only comes in a 12-inch form factor. It's actually smaller than the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air is an old line. So it's not considered, it, it used to be considered Apple's lightest, most portable laptop. That's changed. That's, that changed like a couple years ago when the MacBook was introduced. The MacBook Air is now sort of the affordable laptop. Uh, the MacBook is sort of considered their lightweight, most portable machine. So. It, it feels ridiculously light, but a lot of people like the keyboard on the Air, and that's why a lot of people still go for the keyboard, because it doesn't have that butterfly keyboard on it. Yeah, and it's cheaper. So. So, so this is the MacBook. So as a point of clarification, the MacBook Air and the MacBook did not get updated this so what cycle. what you have is so. the MacBook Pro. So the MacBook Pro is... Um, is literally like in this, this box. Is in this box. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you have a 13-inch MacBook Pro? Why don't you talk about it while you start so, uh, okay. opening it up? This is the 13-inch model. Here's a 15-inch model, just to give you a little size comparison. I used to have a 17-inch. What happened to that? Oh, I used to I'm love the 17-inch. The, yes. And there's a 12. Yes. So, um, <laughs> the MacBook Pro is the top of the line uh, machine. It's for people who want close to desktop performance. Uh, it might even be at this point faster than some yeah. Mac desktops because of the way Apple's product cycles are going. Um, but if you want performance and portability, that's the MacBook Pro is what you want. The MacBook Pro is, I think, it's also Apple's uh, top-selling um, laptop. So they sell more MacBook Pros than any other uh, laptop in their lineup. Um, so I'm cutting this open. So th those are the three lines. Those are the th those are differences between those three lines. Of course, the MacBook Pro is going to be the most expensive ones. Uh, there are two sizes. There's a 13 inch, 15 inch, uh, and uh, those are the ones that were. So I got a, another point of a clarification. <laughs> the MacBook Pro 13 inch has two different types of MacBook Pros. There's one with a touch bar and one without the touch bar. The ones without the touch bar are <laughs> uh, not as expensive as the ones with. Oh, there it is. So, so here's the MacBook Pro. This is a, again, this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. With touch bar? With touch bar, it's the top of the line. Wait, does 15 have a non-touch bar? 15 does not have oh, okay. a touch bar, does not have a non-touch bar model. If you want a different, here's the one to the right is the 13 inch without the touch bar. And on the left, we have last year's 2017 15 inch with the touch bar. Yeah. As you can see, I have just gone ahead and put the function keys as opposed to Apple's doodads on there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So here we go. Here is, this is Apple's packaging right here. Oh, they even, this, I think this is probably like a press kit. Or, oh no, this is the return label. So this is a, just for people, Full disclosure, this is a loaner unit that Apple sent to me for testing. So we didn't buy this, Apple. I went to the showcase that they had on Wednesday uh, to introduce this model, um, to tell us all about it. And Apple is letting me borrow this for testing. So and it's George a- on YouTube is asking, when you say that the RAM is configurable to 16 gigs, does that mean you can upgrade it manually, or do they have, or is it soldered? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. The MacBook, all of Apple's laptops are not user configurable after you buy it. So you have to configure it at the point of purchase. Uh, so you can't even bring it back and say, hey, can you upgrade it? Or does it, they do it, but it costs a lot of money. Or not, not possible. You know, actually, I don't even know if that's, I don't know that for sure. No, because it's soldered on, isn't it? Well, I mean, they can replace everything, Oh, right? true. So, okay. yeah. So I, I don't think you can upgrade it after the point. I think you have to make that decision. Yeah, it's it's not a user-friendly, user-configurable thing. So you have to make the decision. You have to put up that put money up front. 
So Does it say on this one what the RAM configuration is? Let's see, I don't know if it says it on the box. Oh, this is a 32 gigabyte. Oh, good. Machine. And it's too easy. Fam is asking if the if the keyboard. Uh, is fixed. We'll, we're going to do a quick test um, once he has it all open and see if it feels or sounds yeah. any different. But as far as durability goes, that's going to be a test uh, over time. They definitely get something to it because they say it's quieter. But uh, whether or not that, you know, quite, the, the butterfly keyboard is still there. Uh, that's quieter, something obviously has changed there. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. For the record, I. That's what I use as MacBook Pros. I've never had any trouble, so you know it's possible. You know, and I'm I'm pretty messy guy, uh, but yeah. Wait, so you're saying you like the butterfly keyboard? I'm okay with and, it. And what's your Twitter handle? Um, my Twitter handle is Lake Johnson. It's my name, L-E-I-F Johnson. <laughs> All right, let's okay. cut it open. Yeah, keep cutting so. it open. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna say hi fi We do not have the black the black magic GPU. Um, yes. So, um, so if we get it, we will redo it. along with the MacBook Pros, Blackmagic announced a external GPU uh, that has a Radeon 580 in it, 699. It's an integrated Radeon card, so you can't upgrade it afterwards. It's fixed. What's the or, size of that case then? Uh, what's I'm sorry. What's the size of it overall? It is seven by seven, and I think it's 11 inches tall. Oh, okay, that's so not too it, bad. It's a little bigger than the Mac Pro. Uh, so, they, I was told that it's not meant to be user upgradable, the black magic thing. Okay. So, all right. So, Let's I took the, the shrink wrap off. According to the back, uh, this MacBook Pro probably covers it. <laughs> is, uh, this is a space gray one with a 2.9 gigahertz, uh, six core Intel machine. I should have got a manicure. Um, 32 gig gigabytes of RAM. That's an that's one of the updates. It used to be that the MacBook Pro had a limit, of, or the 15-inch MacBook Pro had a limit of 16 gigabytes. It's now 32 gigabytes. The also change, the also big change in that is that they're now using DDR4 RAM. They used to use DDR3. Uh, kind of tied into that. I, I know I keep stalling on the. Uh, opening of the actual box, but I want to make sure I get the information. Right. Yes. But uh, th this laptop actually has more battery in it. They were able to figure out how to put more battery in it, but because of the power demands of DDR4 RAM, it ends up being a wash. In, in other words, the battery life is the same as this previous model. So I am totally not impressed with the battery life on my 15-inch microphone. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like when we do Apple Arcade shows or something like that, you know, we're on there for an hour without it plugged in. That battery is gone within the hour. So yeah. yeah. So thumbs down from Leif Johnson yes. on uh, battery. Like better, really. All right, so the shrink wraps off. Uh, I'm gonna pull the lid off. Let's do it. <laughs> so there's that. No, I'll just put this. Mm. Wow, such a full. Oh, this looks like also like the normal silver, right? Does it also come in space gray? Space didn't gray. the bo box say yeah, space, space gray? gray? I, I think it's because it's, it, it, it's, it's got this. Oh, it's got the plastic on. wrap on it. Uh, so, uh, so if anyone who has has not bought a MacBook Pro before, they Apple's very much into the packaging. So as an experience, so there's this little tab that you pull up. Yeah, there's a plastic wrap just on it. <laughs> just load it. So and then. Ooh. And there it is. So yeah, it's almost identical. Yeah, on the outside. So I got to figure out a way to remember, figure out how to <laughs> differentiate. So this is last year's. This is this year's. Um, and also, he says, how does it smell? It's got that new MacBook Pro smell, which doesn't smell like it smells anything. Smells like money. Yeah. Actually, there's actually a little bit of a smell when you open it, but um, get that first commitment. There we go. So, Do it. Should I show you what's in the box, or do you want to wait and open this first? Just, uh, do, a, do a whiff and close it. Okay. So, <laughs> do a whiff the and line. close it. Line That's never been said on the. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, they use this little. Hey, get in, get in there, smell it. Yeah, it has that kind of. Leif, you wanna? <laughs> Leif, Leif. I like this video now. Keep smelling. <laughs> well, we got the sound. We got the smells. Yeah. 
We'll get the, so, the, the feels. I didn't put that in the description. A smell, smell test as well. Uh, <laughs> smell benchmark. Fresh apples. Mm. Fresh apple smell. So, right, actually, so why don't you set this up and Leif, do you want to go through what's in the box? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, sure. that's a good I can do that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, okay, so yeah, I, I love, you know, like we were saying, um, you know, Apple does really well with their packaging and it, you know, it goes along. You know, so here's the MacBook, you know, here's the Apple Pencil, you know, it's just, it's just this experience. Look at that, it's for a freaking stylus, yes, it's not in there. But, uh, but yeah, so you have that. So it gives you an idea in context of what we usually see. So right here, we have our Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C cord, and uh, that is all there is for this, you know. Um, and so that goes into this. Ooh, look at there. So here's your information about it. And um, stickers? No. Well, I think there might actually be a sticker in here, but uh, this is generally your information. Uh, I think it's you know specs, warranty, how to set it up, where everything is, and. Um, but uh, no, no stickers? stickers. What? Maybe. I Maybe. thought that was a thing. Yes. Usually, I think you know you can't fit one like an Apple pencil. Oh, so true. But if you're paying that much money for a MacBook Pro, you, you know, you get a sticker. You, get a, you should get a oh, sticker. Yeah. Yes. So, so here we go. This is a. So, oh, see. So I was wondering how do I get it out? So they have the little tab here, and ah, oh, so easy. Yes. Look at there. So yes, and then that would be yeah where you would. Take this out. So is the is the brick different uh, from this generation? I believe the brick is. It should be the same. Here's my brick. Uh. Can you tell if the mag uh, safe uh, connection is the same? I mean, Probably. this looks identical, honestly. Yes. And, it yeah, it's it's identical. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah nice. Yeah, yeah. So and this this was the one for my 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro from last year. Okay. So it's 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 identical. And uh, let's see if there's anything under here. No, I think you, you can't even. You can't even oh, move man. it. No, <laughs> they say, you see, Apple doesn't want you to customize, so oh, it, it, that even nice goes down burn. to your, <laughs> to your nice box. Burn. <laughs> I still can't believe there's no sticker. I thought that. Was I a, can't either. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised there's no sticker. It's, is it? And Adam says it's just a USB-C cable and not actually Thunderbolt three. Oh, see, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, yeah, that, that's my fault. Yes, and uh, but you know, it has Thunderbolt three port on the actual thing. Yes. So yes, and then you just plug it in. Same length. Yeah. So that's a good question. I think it is the same length just from looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same length. So yeah. do you do you miss MagSafe? Uh, I, I you know I'm okay with it. I mean, it's things big, but I uh, like the MagSafe. Yeah. I miss nice. it. Yes. Um, Ashworth is uh, saying no sticker. No deal sticker. Breaker. Yeah, deal breaker. Deal <laughs> breaker. Yes, that's, that's it. Uh, Apple's going down. Oh, wait, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. See, hey. it was so nicely put in there <laughs> no, that you didn't even see it. it. We it's missed so, it. It's at the ad Apple subtlety. So no, there, your your deal is back on. Yes. Yeah, go order one right now. You Get those like, stickers. Uh, football players put like a little sticker for like every tackle. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the um, college college yeah. ball. <laughs> Roman, do you want a sticker? You want a sticker, Roman? Where would you no, play thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Roman says no. Nope. I've gone through a lot of those stickers. <laughs> if you had a sticker put for every Apple product you bought, could you cover a whole car? Yeah. <laughs> I could not. Yes. <laughs> not for what I. Of, of all the Apple products I bought. Yeah. No. I mean, right. look at all the Macs we have. But here. of all the Apple products I've gotten in from Apple that all c always come with stickers, yeah, I might be able to cover a car. So the so phone I mean. still comes with a sticker. The Apple Watch, does that come with a sticker? And, uh, I don't think it's Apple big Watch. Enough. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it, yeah. it's like, kind of like the, the Apple I like Pencil. I bet you it does. Uh, Leif, real quick, uh, what's the wattage on the charger? Um, that's Five. a good question. Yes, how matter of fact, should say it. Um, right, yes. And Roman, how are you doing over there on setup? It, it's, I'm still jumping through groups. Okay. So. And uh, you know what? My contacts are really bad. Oh, do you want me to? Yes, I do. Yes. Cool. <laughs> I will turn my mic down since uh, Talman is saying it sounds like I'm hollering from a neighbor, neighboring rooftop. <laughs> Quit hollering. <laughs> that is what this is for. Oh, here it is. Uh, 87 watts. 87. Yes. I need to get myself some new contacts. So. 87 watts, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, how does it feel? I initial impression of the keyboard. Okay, so when I went to the briefing on Wednesday, uh, I tried the keyboard, and because of the venue, I couldn't tell what the sound was like because they said it's a quieter keyboard. But here, it does. I do notice that it does feel 
the noise, the sound from it does feel dampened. So, so is it just the sound or is it actually also the travel? I mean, the travel feels the same, but um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but but let me get I think, the I think other we'll one. Do, the do you want to do the sound test now or do you want to finish setting it Let's up? Let's finish or? setting this, but I wanted to point out this point of the setup. So uh, when you set up this particular laptop, you're going to run into this new screen about Siri. So um, this particular laptop now lets you do Hey Siri to invoke Siri. Oh, and, and okay. it just happened there on my that, phone. There goes my phone. <laughs> Also known as Varicella, is a highly contagious... Chickenpox. <laughs> Chickenpox. <laughs> For some reason, my phone... Would you like to hear more? No, thank you. Well, I, I guess I thought well, I said something about chickenpox. So, so oh. it, it should intelligently know if you're talking to your computer or your phone. What's So in the past, on when Siri was introduced on the Mac, uh, you couldn't use Hey Siri... Uh, to invoke Siri unless you jump through certain hoops. You had to like turn on accessibility and then I actually had a how-to on how to do it. You couldn't, it wasn't just automatic. You had to configure accessibility settings so that Hey Siri would turn on when you said Hey Siri. My phone didn't go on. Uh, but now on this laptop, what Apple has done is they have a chip called the T2 which is dedicated for certain processes. It's offloaded, so it's not taken up, done by the CPU anymore. So the CPU can concentrate on more complex uh, functions. So T2, one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> yeah, there's a little Terminator 2 inside. Uh, so the T2 chip does things like secure enclave and some other things. And one of the new features of T2 for this particular laptop is Hey Siri functionality. Phone didn't go off. Um, so when you do setup, it'll ask you if you want to enable Ask Siri. And for these purposes, I'll probably, I'll leave that on. I usually turn it off, but I'll leave it on because I want to test that. So we'll just leave it on and we'll continue. So it's setting up Hey Siri, so. Do you have to train it to, to know your voice? Yeah, it actually does set up Hey Siri, so. So do I, oh, so I continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. I wonder how many how many people's uh, phones just went off. It's not even active. I'm hitting on any of my stuff. Yeah. That's fine. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Yeah, it's funny. My phone's not triggering. Yeah. Hey Siri. <laughs> Everybody's sabotaging my setup. Hey Siri, buy a Windows laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, real quick, uh, John is on YouTube is asking, what graphics card is in this one? Is it the same as last year? It's a Radeon... 555X. 555X, yeah. yes. It's the same one. No, it's different because the other is one it different? was 5. The other one was 555, now so this is a step X. up. Oh, an X. Oh. oh. X so, but let me say oh, this. It, so it, it, it keeps thinking you're saying the right thing. As Gordon said back here. Hey, Siri, what's the weather? <laughs> Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what's the weather? Wow. Okay. Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Yeah, it should uh, recognize an amalgamation of all of our voices. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so I'm going through the setup now. I just wanted to show the Hey Siri thing because that's new for the Mac. So now I have to do some other, jump through some other hoops. So, so what did you mention about the, uh, the new graphics card that, that and, uh, Oh, was you know, he was just saying, uh, you know, there are, there are some little minor differences and stuff, well, but it's, it's, you know, it's almost as cosmetic, the X. Yeah. That, um, so, uh, but, uh, but yeah, Gordon actually wrote a nice article on it and it's posted on Macworld about, uh, what that, what the new one means for it and the CPU and stuff. Oh, so, yeah. Is that something you can upgrade or no? Uh, the, the graphics card. Yeah. I don't Is it just think one so. configuration? I think it's in it. Yes. Yeah. And Wait, you got something new? Yeah. So I got another thing new. What's up? So, the new MacBook Pro ha now supports True Tone display. And if for people who recognize True Tone on their iPhone, what this does is it adjusts the display settings based on the ambient lighting of your environment. So if you've been using that on your iPhone, you can now use that on your MacBook Pro. And when you're setting up your MacBook Pro, uh, the new one, obviously, it'll you'll get to this screen where you're asked to set up the, the True Tone display. 
So, um, so do, do you like to use it? I use it on my phone. Um, I don't have a strong preference for it either way. Um, yeah, I think, I don't you guys are like video photo people. Did, does something like True Tone... I would turn that off. I, I would turn it off. Yeah, I, I at least want to see what's what's accurate. Like the, yeah. Because True Tone is trying to adapt to the room, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so you generally don't want that. Yeah. Um, you want consistency. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, I, you know, it's it adapts to the room, so I'm not sure who uses it. Uh, obviously, people do use it because they... Apple made an effort to put it on the Mac. People so. generally, like, professionals, I think, who are doing um, that kind of stuff, they usually want some, like, Adobe RGB accuracy. Right, right. Um, a little bit more, more than anything. Yeah. So, I think maybe more... So there's also something called Night Shift, mm. which oh, yeah. changes the colors, you know, so that... I, I think the color palette changes, so... Because there's a effect of lighting on your eyes and mentally when you're at night because it stimulates certain I guess certain lighting stimulates you so night shift changes that that lighting palette or that you know the lighting effect so that it doesn't stimulate your brain so much so you can actually go to sleep after and get <laughs> some sleep after you use it so that's different than true tone so does that mean that they upgraded like sensors up here to to figure out what the ambient lighting is? Uh, did they talk about that at all? I, I, I meant to ask them that, and then we got kind of sidetracked, so I didn't get to ask them that. But uh, I'll ask for clarification on that. I'm not sure. I, that There has to be a sensor in order to see that. Yeah. I don't know if it's used. I don't think it's using the FaceTime camera. It has to be a separate sensor, so. Uh, on YouTube, Wingsley and Corollis uh, are both, they don't seem like fans of True Tone, generally speaking. Okay. But maybe just like for very casual use. Yeah. Um, yeah. Andura um, does like it on their phone. On their yeah. Phone. A lot of people love it. And uh, I hear, you know, normal people, um, you know, and I always try to ask them, what do, what do you love about it? And, uh, you know, they don't really have a good answer, but it's just like, oh, it makes the colors more brilliant. The real question is, is whether you see a blue dress or a white dress with True Tone. <laughs> Laurel or Yanny? Yes. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set this with True Tone, and I don't actually know if it, what's gonna happen after I do this. I think it's just gonna. What's gonna happen? I don't think anything's gonna happen. Nothing. So, <laughs> um, and you know, it is what? It's almost 11 o'clock here, so we're not gonna see any True Tone difference right now. Uh, so that's pretty much the setup. So if I go, hey Siri, my phone went off. <laughs> so, see, it's on my phone. Well, we might have messed that up. I'm not sure I understand. Well, yeah. Is it tied to your personal account? So let's see if. So if, if for people who are just. Oh, it's because I'm not connected to the internet. I have to. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. For people who are just tuning in, we are unboxing the Mac Mini Pro Series. Uh, the Mac Mini Pro Series has a screen size of 13 inches. Um, we yeah, will try. be doing a keyboard test and some benchmarks still to come in just a second. Uh, then Roman is just finishing up setting it up. Um, Abdur, we are in San Francisco, California. Okay, so I, for some reason, it turned off Wi-Fi, oh, yeah. wi even though it was on during the setup. So I reconfigured the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's probably our, our corporate Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, right. It could have been <laughs> our. It probably, the back right. It's <laughs> our, yeah. Uh, so if I say, "Hey Siri," well, that was not a good. My phone went off. Um, so. Geffen uh, just says nope. he thinks well, I the third it, so generation yeah. keyboard versus the second um, is the option button. It looks different. Option? Um, Here's what I found on the web when I just has, hello things for the third generation right, so one, keyboard. What does the other one look like? It looks pretty similar. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's do a visual comparison. And Leif has the other one here too. Oh, okay. He's got it right there. Yeah, I got one here too. So. So from the outside, they look the same. They're same number of ports. You get four Thunderbolt ports on the 15-inch MacBook Pro. You get two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. And you get a headphone jack, for those of you who love the headphone jack. Um, but it's pretty much the same construction. Open it up, so 
The laptop with the High Sierra background is the current model. This laptop with the login screen is the last year's model. Um, Oh uh, yeah, the option key does look different. It, does, it has the new um, symbol on it. it. Has a new option symbol because nobody knows what that symbol is. Well, they got rid of Alt. They catch so, yeah, Alt. They actually the control key is different too. They've added the carrot. Is that what you would call it? Since we're doing keys, why don't we? Is it a good time to do some maybe audio testing and feel? Yeah, let's sure. Do it. All right, I'll switch the audio on to that mic. One second. All right, we got. We got a shotgun mic here to help us pick up the the distinct sounds. Um, okay, so we'll do the let's do the old one. We'll first. do the old one first. Let me get this. Uh, it's on the level because it's not. Right. There we go. All right. Okay. So I'm just gonna. All right. So now this is the new keyboard. It does seem to be a little bit quieter. It does feel... Does it feel any different? It doesn't feel different to me, but I do notice that like, there's not as... It's probably not the correct terminology that I'm gonna use right now, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of bass response. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Not the bass. Yeah, uh, as there was on the new, on the old laptop. The old laptop feels like a deeper sound. Is there something wrong with your shift key? Feels stuck. Well, yeah, this does. This shift key does feel the, the shift key on the old laptop feels wonky. Funky. Um, Corollas is asking, does it feel mushier or firmer? You know. Maybe switch hands too, because you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the keyboard here. See, I'm curious because I'm a lot heavier typist than he is. <laughs> so. um, it's funny because before you told me to switch hands, yeah. the um, the old laptop felt a little springier, but then when you told me to switch hands, it felt the same. So. Life, do you want to get some hand yeah, action in there? Yeah, why don't you try Life? Let's get another person. Wings there on YouTube says, please test the new keys to see if they are better okay. and more durable. This is the new um, one. That's probably a test of time. Yeah. And maybe we'll, we'll, we'll start collecting all our Cheetos dust. <laughs> um, just turn them over and test to see how, how that affects it. I said, my name is Life Johnson and I type where, let's see. It's quieter. Yeah, it's it does, a subtle it, thing. Yeah, it doesn't have that, uh, that high-end kind of click. It does, it does feel... Okay, if I were to say it, I would say that this does feel more, you know, mechanical. Uh, not in the sense of like a mechanical keyboard, but it has that, you know, there's a very clacky type sound to it. This, this does feel a little more like what you would get with an Air. I'm not saying it's like massively in that direction. But I think if you were work, if you, I, I like this, it does have a little bit softer feel. Like I'm actually pressing buttons as opposed to you know soft buttons as opposed to clacking on some machine. Um, Do you think the travel has changed? Do you, can you get a sense of that at all? See, I don't type properly, but see yeah yeah this th this okay it, it it's almost like there's a little bit more slamming with this especially with the way I type you, you definitely feel it more this so that is more resistance this maybe? is yeah this it's very very slightly this is this is more satisfying this is more satisfying and you know, I might remember on the most recent podcast I was talking about, oh, I don't see how people, you know, because I, I, I like it. No, th this is slightly more satisfying. It's very slight. If you're looking for a MacBook uh, Air experience, I would not compare that to this. But, um, but yeah, th this is more satisfying to write on. I, I will agree with that. Yeah. All right. So they did something. Whether it's more durable, we don't necessarily. Yeah. We, and during the showcase that I went to, Apple was asked, 
about that, about whether these keyboards are more durable and reliable. And um, they didn't really answer the question. And I think part of that is that Apple has three class action lawsuits against them for this uh -huh. keyboard. So they don't want to admit anything. Yet. So they can't really say anything because of those lawsuits. Yeah. I think that, and they didn't say that, but I think that's the reason why they didn't really answer the question. So. All right. Travel seems about the same. Do they, does it feel yeah. the same to you? I wonder if it's just like maybe like a back padding on it that's slightly different. You know, why don't yeah. we just take a, a screwdriver just and just kind of pry, pry off up these one keys. of the keys, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's just do this. Maybe so. they made it so it's like more easily and cheaper for them to fix. Um, <laughs> right. It's like, you know, you can, we can just do the keys. Um, so I think that's a pretty good test on the keyboards. Um, how we, you think we can we get some benchmarks up? All right, so I would have to, down, I have to download uh, and run the benchmark on this. So this, this might take a couple minutes. Right, I'll switch this. How long does the benchmark take? Uh, the benchmark takes a couple minutes to run. Once, so, you, once you start it on this one? Oh, so I've already run it on this oh, one. Oh, okay. So if you want to look for... Uh, so uh, one of the benchmarks we run is a benchmark called Geekbench 4. Anybody can get it. Um, there is a free version, but if you want to get more functionality out of it, uh, you can buy it. Uh, it's one of the known benchmarks. It's been around for a while. We use it a lot. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a good benchmark. We use other benchmarks as well, not just this one. Uh, but it's a good way to kind of like get a baseline number. Uh, and I ran that benchmark on uh, the. 2017 model, so just for clarification, this is last year's model. This is a 2. Point, no, this is actually a 2.6 gigahertz Core i7. So it's with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So there's not really an apples to apples comparison for this machine. Apples to apples, I see what you did there. Ah, yeah, uh, I see what I did there. Ah. Man, Roman, you're good. Gordon <laughs> showed up on YouTube. Is this the Core i9 version? Oh, so let's look at, so this particular machine is, this is a Core i9 2.9 gigahertz machine. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4. Uh, so MacBook Pros actually have two graphics processors. This one, it's, uh, right now it's running on the integrated Intel 630. Um, there is a way to, I have to go into system preferences, and then, is it displays? Oh shoot, I forgot how to do it. Oh. Uh, is it general? Are you looking for how to switch it over? Yeah, I forget how to switch it over. Isn't it, uh, I don't know. Somebody online help me. I can't, why can't I remember how to switch it? You can at least show it in the about me, right? So, right, so I go about me. manually switch the graphics card. Uh, displays, display preferences. I know there, the, yeah, there, I know there was a way to force it. I've done it for the, but I had to like learn how to do it. And then I, I haven't done it in a while. I, uh, I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll engage it for the, oh no, Geekbench is just for CPU? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but just want to show you on system report if we go to graphics displays. Here's the Intel and see there's a there is a Radeon 560. This one has a 560x. Oh, so not 560. So. Oh, it's energy saver. That's what it is. I think it's energy saver. So if I go energy saver, uh, yeah, automatic graphics shoot switching. This will automatically switch graphics modes. But if I turn this off. This will always use the high-end performance graphics. So then if I go back into about this Mac, oh, I probably have to quit out of that and then re... It's now on the Radeon. Cool. It's a weird place to put so. it back. Yeah. yeah, it's so it's kind of a weird place. Right, once you're on that geek, geek it, finch. It, it knows when to switch it off when it needs to. So I guess yes, it, really it does auto-switch. So. Yeah, I remember back when I had a Mac, I had something in my menu bar, or was it in the top right corner? Like yeah, where you I, could I could manually it, yeah. switch it. Yeah. yeah. It finished downloading. It finished downloading. I'm gonna run it now. So right. I'm just gonna run. 
So this takes a couple minutes. So to th this is from earlier today. Yeah. Why don't you tell us what these numbers mean? So uh, Geekbench provides two numbers. Higher scores are better. Uh, the single core score means it's only using apps that use one core. Uh, like for, what? So what would be that? I think like I want to say Safari only uses one core. So it's it's most regular apps like mail safari uh what else calendar calendar right a lot of productivity apps they only need to use one core they don't need to use multiple cores uh, so there's there's that score then the second score is a multi-core score and that's apps that take advantage of uh, the multiple cores in a processor that, those apps are usually professional apps like Final Cut, Final Cut, Logic, um, Photos. Yeah, probably Photos. It's it's. I don't actually. I don't know if Photos uses multi-core, but I will have to look that up. I can't remember. But uh, they they tend to be high-end apps that like creative professionals use. Maybe even like some databases. So um, they use multi-cores so they can get. Because they're very processor intensive, they need they're very demanding of the processor, so they'll use multiple cores to get the most performance. So these are the scores that we have so far for this particular machine. Again, this is a 2.6 gigahertz Core i7. Uh, which is uh, seventh gen Intel, correct? Right. Uh, and then that's. The new one is finally switching over to 8th gen Intel, which, which has been out for a bit. So I actually have here more of an apples to apples comparison. This is a 2.9 gigahertz Core i7, 16 gigabytes machine. This is from last year, but it's running Mojave. So it's running a beta version of Mojave. That, I didn't pull it out because... Um, that could be a factor. Right, that could be a factor in performance. It's, it's running beta software. So I didn't want to um, focus on it, but since it's the same processor speed, do you think that? And we're waiting. I might as well run it. Mojave will be built around and have some extra optimization for six cores. Um, I, at at the developers conference, they did talk about how. Oh, I'm sorry, that's iOS was, they were talking about how iOS is faster. Faster, yeah. Right. But they didn't mention any optimizations about Mac OS. So I don't know if Mojave would be faster. So we got our numbers. So we have our numbers. They're higher. They're, yeah, they're, what? 20%? 30% higher? I'm not good at math. So well, the, the multi-core is, is double. Is double. But the yeah. single core, yeah. Yeah. So we got a single core score of 5546. That's a big jump from the 4082 uh, on this machine. Um, and then on the multi-core score, as Adam pointed out, it's it's almost double. 23 so, and 12. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's big. Again, this is a six core machine with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. This is a 2.6 gigahertz machine from last year. Four core. Using uh, it's a, so it's a quad core, four core with only 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, actually, this was using. Oh, one. but Geekbench isn't going to worry about the graphics. So. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, Adam knew what I was going to say. <laughs> so I, that, when I ran this benchmark, it was on the Intel uh, graphics processor. But as Adam pointed out, these Geekbench scores aren't like going to be influenced by that problem. So you're going to take this one and throw it in the trash now? Because, I mean, look at those numbers. <laughs> Just get it out of here. Uh, while you're Sorry. on YouTube is asking if these are kind of both uh, similar and where they fit in the in the line. Like, are these both, okay. you know... Right. The apples that a comparison. Yeah, so, like, was this one, like, three, the older one, like, around the $3,000 price range? So the older one, I believe, is Apple usually offers uh, three... Or no, I'm sorry, is it two? Two 15-inch uh, configurations? I, I believe that's how they do it, yeah. So oh, this would yeah. be the lower end one. Okay. 
Yeah, you can put so. that thing all the way up to like four terabytes of memory. I mean, the storage now is crazy. Yeah. And Abdura is asking, what's the storage on the on the new one? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the storage on the new one that we're looking at. I should, ah, does it say anything about this Mac? No. No. Well, I can go to storage. Yeah, yeah. So this is a two terabyte SSD. Nice. You can get a four terabyte SSD. So this is that isn't actually a maxed out machine. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a maxed out machine, but uh, still two terabytes is nice. It's two terabytes. Um, so you're just looking at the configuration. Yeah, I was looking it up to see if that's if that's the base configuration. I think it is. All right. So we've tested. Actually, five twelve is the base. And we've tested keyboard. Um, what else? Someone, I can't remember who else was asking, was, you know, um, screen brightness. I was, I was just going to suggest that. Yeah. Screen brightness. Because supposedly the new one has 50 more nits of, of brightness. 50? Right here, touch bar. Yeah, I was going to. Why don't I close that? So we'll close see if that. We can see it on this. Um, um, it might be hard to tell. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's the audio. Uh, are you a fan of the of that bar, or are you not a fan? Would you rather have real function keys? I. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I I would just say I don't use it. There are some programs <laughs> that I found it really useful for. Ulysses is one of them. They really know how to in incorporate it. And I would say that it actually saves me a bit of time when I'm working with Ulysses. A lot of them, it's kind of gimmicky. I think Safari it mainly does like the Windows is very gimmicky. Um, but as you saw, I have just kind of switched over. Because, I, you know, playing games and stuff, I just use the function and escape key. This feels brighter. This is the older one, though. I'm not sure if you can tell. Maybe because the... True Tone's on? That's that's yeah, probably that's, probably that's probably because if you look here, this blue is different than this blue. Yeah, the right one definitely seems brighter from my perspective. So if I turn off True Tone, make sure the power settings are the same too. Yeah. Oh, and automatically adjust brightness. Turn that off. Oh yeah. And these should all feel the same way, right? Physically, they're basically the same. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, I went the wrong one. But I will say, as someone who's experimented with them, like uh, the 15 automatic. inch is a yeah. massive difference in weight from like the 12 or even the 13. Maybe go to power. On the and most? we do have, we have had some comments or, or requesting a sound test, but uh, because it's going to go through our mics, I, I don't know if it's. Yeah. Gonna, I don't, I don't, think I don't know. Not sure they're going to be able. Of like, we could hear it. the like fans. Recorded. No, I think um, the typing, uh, audio. Oh, the oh, the speakers. speakers. The speakers. I mean, this is probably going to be pretty similar, right? They uh, uh, Apple did not say if. As far as I know, Apple did not change the, the speakers. This is weird because yeah, we turned off all this stuff, cranked it up. This this still seems the brighter. old one seems brighter. Well, we have. If you if you do let's put some music on, from uh. Uh, let's think what we can not get dinged by YouTube from. Because people oh, aren't asking. Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Uh, the Macworld podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Listen, yeah. Let's listen to our voices. Um, we need a jingle so we can listen. There you go. And people are wondering <laughs> if it runs any hotter, especially because of the RAM. Yeah, we, um, we're going to have to look at that when we do the review. Yeah, when so. we do the review, we'll do some uh, um, infrared. Wait, is that infrared? No, heat. Infrared, yeah. It's infrared? Right? Yeah. I think so. Okay. So you guys feel like this is brighter? Yeah, I feel like that's brighter. Yeah, that's brighter. We all bring agree up a that white, the right like, Bring up Safari. Maybe go to the Apple homepage. There's a lot of white. And maybe get directly head on to it, too, Adam. You're a little bit off Oops. center. Wrong. Yeah, the right one seems brighter. <laughs> Not today. Oh, Dark mode. <laughs> there we go. Or I can actually just use the. Um... Did they move the speakers? Oh, or... there we go. Oh, okay. that, that's actually uh, no, huh? Okay. No, the speakers are in the same location. Yeah, 
Yeah. See, it's very bright. That one on the right feels brighter. It's very bright. Yeah. So it doesn't seem any brighter. We'll have to... Uh, but it's also, it's a color thing too. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to tell on the camera, but the color is still a little right. more off the on the camera. Yeah. In person, it's very different. But we actually have some light meters, so right. we will test that uh, in our full review. We need to do some calibration, yeah. and, and so... Okay. But, um, and Mark, we only have the 15-inch. The 13-inch the was not updated. Right. I mean, we, we have a 13, but it's last year. Oh, the 13 inch was updated. The 13 inch without touch bar was not updated. Ah, okay. okay so, yeah. so, yeah, just to uh, reiterate, the 13 inch now has a quad core, uh, eighth gen Intel processor. We did not get that in, so we have the 15 inch. Um, and this is a, Apple, a machine that Apple's loaning to me to uh, review. So, um, so, we basically just got what they sent us. So, um, uh, let me see if this is done. I think that was any, anything else you wanted to test? Whoa. Uh, any of our viewers have any final requests? Um, Bo, Bo John is saying, uh, make sure that, or uh, double check that it's not automatic. Yeah, it, it, we yeah. turned off automatic. Yeah. Ready to turn it <laughs> Okay, so. Here is the last year's, I'll just show it to you, 15 inch, 2.9 gigahertz, core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is a quad core machine. This is last year's machine. Running uh, beta. It's running a beta of Mojave. So, and the score is, so take it for what it's worth. Is uh, this is the score 4680 for single core, 16100 for multi core. On the new uh, laptop, which has also has a 2.9 gigahertz, but it's an eighth gen core i9, and it is a six core machine. This is the score. So it's. I mean, it's still. So. Yeah. It's like a. 10 15 percent single core difference so mojave alone isn't gonna isn't gonna give you the the bigger numbers so and again this is running mojave beta so it's probably not fully optimized for performance so take that what it's worth it's just kind of a give you a rough idea of what's going on uh, i could install mojave on here and see what the score is that way it's more of a comparison, but uh, this isn't a final version of Mojave. This is the public beta, and it's not optimized for performance. And for what it's worth, I have the most trouble with Mojave on these machines on my 15 inch, so <laughs> yeah. Since we're, we're about getting that. the request, why don't we just play a little bit of music? All right, um, let me see if I can. You can bring up Spotify or YouTube. Uh, let's see, what's the what's what's song that you want? Let's say non DRM. <laughs> a non DRM song. I mean, I could do... Happy birthday. No. Just kidding. I could go to the Macworld podcast and... Oh, is the theme song on the... Yeah, the same, but it's only a little nice of a man. <laughs> uh, or you could just tune in to the live stream on YouTube and then of us. So it'd be like an echo. <laughs> Life, any... Uh, I'm looking... It's hard to find... Uh, us. So it'd be like an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, uh, we're going to be in some infinite loop now. Oh no, we're going to be in some infinite loop now. That's a little disorienting. Alright, uh... Yeah, just go, uh... Yeah, just go to YouTube Music, let's see what's popular, what's trending right now. Sean Mendez? Sure. Ariana Grande. Yes, put some Ariana. Yes, let, let's avoid the copyright. We're going for the most popular thing. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it'll probably mute. It'll just demonetize. Hey, look, it's an Apple ad. Oh, Apple. Oh yeah, you can put an Apple ad. What's it going to be? No, what are the odds of that? I'm going to switch to the shotgun mic. Oh, let me. There you go. Some people can get a better quality. You 
All right, that was 25 seconds, so are we under the, uh... No. <laughs> there's, there's no rule. There is. I thought there was like a 30 no. second rule. No, it's, it's a myth. Uh, uh, oh, no. All right. Whatever's. So, here's the same. Oh, we have to go through the ad again, so I didn't get it in time, so... But, um... Hey, you know what? It's an apple. Oh, yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> different ad, though. It's a different ad, yeah. Oh, it is. But it is an Apple ad, yeah. That's funny. I feel like this one might have a little more bass, but I mean... Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, this felt like it had, like you said, but I'm sitting right in front of it too, yeah. and I'm well, not. We'll, we'll, we'll test it a little bit more thorough in the full review. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess that's probably everything. So why don't yeah. we? Uh, why don't you take us on out? Yeah, so if you guys got any questions or comments, let us know on Twitter and YouTube. I'll take a look at them. I'm going to be doing a review of this laptop. Uh, that's what I'll be doing this weekend. A lot of fun. <laughs> It's summer and I'm working on the weekend, <laughs> but uh, for you guys. But anyways, uh, if you have any comments or questions, let us know. I'll take a look at those and try to answer them. Uh, but yeah, that's the new 15-inch MacBook Pro. There it is. There it is. Um, new, new and improved keys, somewhat. Yep. I'll be working on a review. Hopefully, we'll have the review up next week. Well, it will be next week. We're not sure when exactly, but. Uh, we'll be taking a look at it. Got any questions that you would like me to address in the review? Let me know. Uh, my Twitter handle is Pinatubo2000. Uh, not so, complex at all. Yeah, not, not very complex at Spill all. That. Spell it. P I N A T U B O 2000. So it's a long story as to why I picked it. Uh, but I'm Filipino, and there's a volcano in the Philippines called Pinatubo. That's the short story. Um, that's not, yeah, that's not a very long story. Sorry, no. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a longer story, so, but, uh, but anyways, uh, thanks to Leif Johnson. So. I do like the keyboard. So. Dan Masroca, the man who was behind. Adam, who was, Adam, Adam, uh, who was working the camera with, you saw his fingers. <laughs> you saw his thumbs. Yeah. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, leave me some comments and questions, and I'll take a look at those. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone.